is Chirpin' Crickets. Hi, how are you doing? This is Kim Brown, and I am back here on Kim Takes On for another week. I hope everybody had a terrific uh, weekend. My weekend was really awesome. Watched a ton of wrestling on television, including The Collective, including both nights of WrestleMania. Absolutely nuts. Cody Rhodes, totally proud of you, dude. Your dad is smiling down on you from heaven. And... Um, as I said, we're back here another week. We being me and Terrence the Wonder Duck here. Terrence hopes you had a really nice weekend too. And what we're going to talk about today is five songs that people get wrong. Now, I realize that this is, um, this might be kind of a controversial topic. I'm not really sure. Terrence thinks it's very controversial, but a, Terrence is a duck, and B, Terrence avoids confrontation. He's a very accommodating duck. Yes, he is. And he's very cute. Um, but songs can be interpretation. I mean, you, you know, this, what, what you think of a song can be, you know, certain people think, well, this song is about this and this song is about that and, you know, so on, so on and so forth. And unless the artist completely comes out and says, this song is about this, people can argue stuff till the cows come home, you know, about what a song is about. But certain songs have been co-opted, hijacked, uh, I don't know how else to word this, picked up and lifted off by other people that want to use the song for whatever reason. And... I'm sorry, but sometimes people just get it wrong. I mean, and sometimes when they get it wrong, oh my gosh, do they get it wrong. And that is the songs we're going to talk about today. So, the first song that falls into this category, again, according to me, just me, well, me and Terrence. Um, so if there's any hate mail, send it to him. Don't actually send. If you really disagree with us, you can send us email and say you disagree, but don't send it to Terrence because he's very sensitive. Um, but the first song I want to talk about is um, Every Breath You Take by The Police. Now, I'm not saying this isn't a terrific song. I'm not saying every song that I'm going to talk about isn't a terrific song. But the number of people who use this song as a romantic song and the number of people who actually have had their first freaking dance at their weddings be every breath you take by the police what the actual frog what are you doing this song is not and i repeat not underline that about a romantic relationship, an actual give and take romantic relationship that has respect and all the other good things that a good relationship has. That is not what this song is about. This song is being sung from the POV of a stalker. And I don't know about your brain, but my brain tends to equate stalker with bad thing, you know, bad person doing bad things. When one of the lines is something like, oh, can't you see you belong to me? What? I belong to you? Excuse me, what did you just say? No. That is N to the O. No. Exclamation point on the end of it. And all these people that are like, oh, it's a beautiful song. It's saying every breath you take, you're, I'm with you. No, it's saying I'm watching you. I'm watching you is not the same thing as I'm, you know, looking out for you or I respect you or I care for you or I love you deeply. I'm watching you is looking at somebody through a telephoto lens or some creepy crap like that. This is not a romantic song. For crying out loud, Sting has come out and said, this is not a romantic song. And I mean Sting the singer and not Sting the wrestler, in case any of my wrestling fans out there got confused. <sighs> 
Sorry. Hopefully the rest of this will not be as ranty. Terrence very much doubts that, though. Terrence knows me very well. Sorry. Okay. Uh, the next song is um, The Night Chicago Died by Paper Lace. Um, okay. Historical inaccuracy? What the hell is that, right, with this song? Okay. The song The Night Chicago Died, and I can't believe there's anybody out here there who doesn't know what this song is, is, you know, the song about a young man whose father was a cop on the east side of Chicago. Record scratch noise. Because there is no east side of Chicago. People from Chicago know what I mean. And the song is about this big bloody battle that occurred between the the uh, soldiers in Al Capone's gangster army against the police of Chicago and blah, blah, etc. And so on and so forth. This didn't happen. I'm not saying that there weren't gun battles between the police and the many people in Chicago at the time during Prohibition that were involved in organized crime. You know, considering Prohibition, one of the U.S. government's really great, you know, ways they tried to control what people do. Great job. Um, but, and that's coming from somebody that doesn't drink, so see what that says. But the whole thing of this this big battle, this fierce, bloody battle between the cops and Capone's soldiers and stuff like that. Al Capone went to jail for tax evasion. That's what they got him on. Not on anything else. Not on being a bootlegger. Not on being a murderer. Not on being a mob boss. Nothing like that. He did not have any dramatic face-offs with Elliot Ness, no matter what the movies or the TV shows want to tell you. It didn't happen. It just bothers me. And I know it's a stupid thing to get bothered about. You don't have to tell me it's a stupid thing to get bothered about. I know. But it just Ah, it's just one of those things. So the next song, um, I'm kind of embarrassed, kind of, because I don't actually have much of a shame gene, in case you hadn't figured that out yet. Um, I have gotten this song wrong. I have gotten this song wrong for a very long time because sometimes I'm a doofus. That's basically what it works out to crickets <laughs> mea culpa which of course is latin for i'm a dumbass uh, because that brings us to the next song also by paper lace um which is billy don't be a hero and i've heard other people make the same mistake as me so i kind of don't feel slightly as bad because if I'm not the only dumb one out there, then it's like, okay, well, we'll all be dumb together, I guess. But now we don't have to be dumb because now we know the actual thing of this song. I think because of when the song came out, a lot of people, including me, um, thought the song was about Vietnam. You know, the song's about a young woman and she gets a letter that, you know, her, her fella has died in battle you know, the whole Billy, don't be a hero, don't be a fool with your life and all this stuff like that, because he runs off to, to join the fighting and stuff like that. And me and I've heard, like I said, I've heard other people say this, too, that they saw they thought the song was about the Vietnam War, that this was another song singing about the futility of war and how nobody really wins in war at the end, that it's, you know, the, the loss of human life is a tragedy on both sides of whatever war. Um and it turns out that it is about war. It's about a specific war, just not the Vietnam War. Nope. And if I'm shocking anybody out there with this, I, sorry, put down your put down your your soda before you do a spit take. Billy, don't be a hero is not about the Vietnam War. Billy, don't be a hero is in fact about the Civil War. Um, if you listen a little bit closer to the lyrics. It's mentioned that it's soldiers in blue, and that is the uh, Union. So that's what the Union Army officers wore during the Civil War. So, Billy, don't be a hero. I will admit I was completely wrong about this song for a number of years. I mean, I don't remember hearing this song a lot. 
I mostly knew it from stuff that I heard, like, you know, k presents songs of the blah, 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 back in the day. Yes, I'm that old. I know. Shut up. All right. Um, next is, <laughs> it's funny how this stuff seems to circle back around to political stuff, which is something that I cheerfully, freely admit I don't follow a lot because I like to be happy and I don't like to follow politics because it seems like the people who follow it all the time seem really miserable. But if you follow politics and you're a happy person, good for you. Um, the next song I want to bring up that people tend to get wrong and get it really wrong, which is the part that blows my mind. Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen. Um, again, terrific song. You know, really pulls at your heart talking about the absolutely disgraceful way that people who were, you know, part of the uh, military, went over, did their service, came back and were treated like crap, you know, found it hard to get jobs, found, you know, their towns dying and things like that and just feeling like they were left behind, you know, like they, like part of their soul has just been torn away from them and it's really terrible and stuff like that, which is basically what the song is about someone who's lived a hard life and life got harder as they went along. But because the chorus is born in the USA, everybody starts whipping the flag out and they're just, you know, da 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 hey, USA, USA. No, it isn't that kind of song. It's not saying, you know, the USA sucks entirely, um, but it is not a song that, if you are trying to be like, you know, this is my country and all that kind of stuff like that, which is great, you know, every, you know, but it's not that kind of thing. And politicians have used it, tried to use it. I remember Reagan wanting to use it and I don't think Springsteen let him. I also remember a team, a wrestling team. I hate doing this because I'm totally carbon dating my butt, but, um, team of the U.S. Express, Barry Windham and Mike Rotunda, um, Barry Windham, who was also my very first wrestling crush, um, they used this for a little while, uh, which I was like, um, no. I was kind of like, I mean, I was just kind of like, okay. I mean, I, did, I got it wrong for a long time, too. I was kind of like, then I really listened to the lyrics, and I was like, wait a minute that's not what this song is about. Okay, fine. I'm stupid. You know, I'm stupid, but I'm just one person. These people have like, you know, political people that have all these people around them that like are people that are supposed to help them win elections and shit. What's your excuse? Um, so, so born in the USA. The last song that I'm going to talk about is, um, this makes me angry. This actually does make me angry because this shows how much people don't listen. The song that people don't get and the song that people just use stuff from incorrectly, Stan by Eminem, also with vocals from Dido. I have heard so many people, I have read so much stuff of people saying, oh, I'm a stand for this. I'm a stand for this movie. I'm a stand for this actor. I'm a stand for this couple. I'm a stand for this fanfic. I stand this. I stand that. Have any of you actually listened to this song? This song is about an obsessive fan who unalives himself and his pregnant girlfriend at the end. What is wrong with you? This is not someone you want to emulate. This is like people who are like, oh, my relationship with my boyfriend, we're like Romeo and Juliet. Y'all know how that ended, right? If you don't, spoiler alert, it wasn't good. I really cannot stand it when people say, I stand, blah, blah, blah. It's just, I'm like, really? Really? 
have you listened to this song all the way through? I mean, the other thing that people do that makes me crazy is people say, oh, I'm trash for, I'm a trash fan for whatever. Don't do that. Don't refer to yourself as trash. There's just don't. You're worth more than that. Everybody listening to my voice, you're worth more than that. Don't do that to yourself. There's enough people out there. There's enough people in the world that try and pull you down. Don't do it to yourself. Crying out loud. I just, when this whole stand thing started, I was really like, this is just one or two people, right? Nope. There's a ton of people doing this. And from me to you, stop it. Just stop it. It's gross. I mean, there's no other word for it. It's gross. In my opinion. And if you want to write to me and tell me that I'm completely wrong and, you know, that I, you know, my opinion is, is crap or whatever, PlatinumRosel at Yahoo.com. You can totally do that. And that's entirely up to you. It's your opinion. And that's cool if it's your opinion. But that's how I feel. So those are the five songs that I feel like people get wrong all the time. Every Breath You Take by The Police, The Night Chicago Died by Paper Lace, Billy Don't Be a Hero also by Paper Lace, Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen, and Stan, Eminem, Vocal Editions by Dido. So... Got a little rant delicious this week. Very sorry about that. I don't, I don't want to do that all the time. But you know, sometimes stuff just gets stuck in your craw, and you just have to get it out there. Um. So, like I said, if you have any questions, comments, complaints, queries, money, <laughs> no, 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 don't say money. It's okay. Um, PlatinumRoseL at Yahoo.com. I will be very happy to hear your views. Um, if you have any other news you'd like us to, you know, send out to the world, I will totally do that for you as well, if you'd like. Um, so that is going to wrap up another week here on Kim Takes On. So from me, who is Kim, and him, who is Terrence, we hope that everybody has a terrific week. Be safe, try and be good to each other, and um, have a great week. Bye-bye.